November 12th and it has been two weeks since my Thai Sabri infusion and I have good news and bad news. Um, we'll start with the bad. Um, I went up north with Anthony and we, it was for a work function and there were people there that, that know me and I thought, I thought that our phone is ringing. That's okay, keep going. <laughs> you thought that what? <clears throat> that I was doing okay? And then what happened? Some people were like, oh my God, you know, telling, like talking to each other and then like people called my mom. Like, wow, Lauren, we had no idea. We can see her shaking. So they basically thought that you were a lot worse than they than they thought. And I'm getting better, and I was so excited to do my report today because I went on the elliptical. And it was only for five minutes, but I was so excited and I, I couldn't wait to do my report. And then this happened. And I know, I mean, I know that I'm getting better and I know that the tremors will go away, but I'm sure you can still see them and hear it in my voice. And it sucks. <laughs> I mean, it sucks, especially when people, you know, like my mom gave me a good example. She, we watch The Biggest Loser, where people lose weight, and I love that show because it gives others encouragement. And she said, if you saw someone and they weighed 300 pounds, you would say, wow, they should probably lose weight for their health. But if they, ha if they used to weigh 400 pounds and they had lost 100 pounds and you, they overheard someone say, wow, they really need to lose weight, it would crush them because they would say, oh my God, I have worked my ass off and I just lost 100 pounds. So... I mean, for me, hearing people say, oh my God, you know, even and this has been happening, like, it's so nice of people to come visit me in the hospital. And just so you know, because I'm crying and I'm upset, I'm shaking more than I normally am. But, um, like, it's so encouraging for me to have them support me but at the same time, I can see the looks on their faces, like, oh my God, look at Lauren. You know, and it makes me feel horrible. And, it, and the reason is because I've had this for seven years and I've been fine, great. I mean, nobody would ever know that I have MS. And that's, again, the positive attitude, and I'm really active, and I exercise and eat healthy. But, you know, like, this is a relapse. It's an exacerbation, and it's my first one. So it's scary for all of us, but that totally brought me down. <laughs> and is that the bad news? Yeah. <laughs> Well, so it's really not bad news, but for me it is. Um, my dad is taping, and I told him I have good news and bad news, and that's the bad news. Um, but I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better.
better. <laughs> like, um. So what's the good news? The good news is I'm walking so well. Like, you would never know it. I'm walking like I was before. I mean, as always, when I um, shower in warm water and blow dry my hair, I have to sit down and take a break because that's heat, and I don't do well in heat as uh, all other MS patients. But I'm walking great, and I wanted to show how I'm walking, but Dad, I'm scared that I'm not going to walk well because I'm crying. But I'm going to try. Can right. you see it if I do it? Yeah, let me... Uh pull out here <clears throat> okay whoa okay so i'm walking totally fine i don't need any anybody to hold on to me or a cane or a uh, walker <sighs> and you went on the elliptical and i went on the elliptical but joel he he yelled at me my brother and um he said what are you doing and i said no i feel great i'm trying and he he made me he said three minutes only take it easy do three minutes but i did five <laughs> and um and i sweat a little bit but i did i was only on level two so i'm trying to start slow um, normally, I um, it, I get up to level ten on the elliptical, and I um, I fluctuate the in intensity as I'm going, and I'm shaking a lot right now. I'm not normally I haven't been like this, but I I'm upset because you know, and okay the people that have seen me haven't seen me at my worst and if you watch me from the beginning like the first one that i filmed was in my bedroom and uh and i that was the worst then you know you see me in the hospital and getting my test every and so um you'll be able to see my progression and again, right now I'm shaking really bad. I get anxiety when I get upset, and then I shake, and then it's Let worse. me s <coughs> hold your hands up. Yeah. Am I shaking? How bad do they look? Put them closer together. Not too bad. But I'm, sh I mean, I'm crying, so, or I was crying, and that makes it, you know, I anxiety but anyway I um it's funny because I came home from the weekend and and I was like mom I I did so well and I'm wearing only tennis shoes I used to wear slip-on tennis shoes that don't have a back and that was a stupid thing because that doesn't give you as much support so I've been wearing only my my regular like elliptical tennis shoes and that helps me a lot but I'm walking totally fine and um, and I was ta I have anti-anxiety pills that my um, neurologist gave me because that calms calms my nerves down so I was taking them I, I usually don't take them I don't like taking pills unless I have to but I took them this weekend, and they did calm me down. So I thought that I was, you know, I'm like, maybe they won't even notice. And I knew I was shaking a little bit, but, um, but it wasn't, I mean, they didn't see me at my worst. You know, it's like they didn't see me when I weighed 400 pounds, but, it, but because they see me at 300 pounds, they think that I'm, I, you know, need to get help. So that.